Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, let's bless him. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. We bless your name, God. We praise your name, God. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. Wonderful, Jesus. We praise your God. We bless your name, Lord. We bless your name, God. We give you the glory, God. We give you the praise, God. We praise you for your goodness. We praise you for your loving kindness. We thank you, God. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for all that you've done. We thank you, God, for all that you've done. We thank you for who you are, Lord. We came to give your name the praise. We came to magnify you. We came, Lord, as a remnant God. You called us by name, Lord Jesus. And so we answer you, Lord. We answer you by telling you, yes, Lord. We come to thank you. We come to thank you, God. We say thank you, Lord. We say thank you because you've been good to us. We say thank you because you've been kind. We say thank you for your mercy and your loving kindness. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. We praise you, God. You're El Shaddai. You're more than enough, God. We glorify you. We magnify you. You're Jehovah Jireh. You're our provider. And so we thank you, God. We thank you for making provision. We thank you because you have provided. We thank you because you are providing. We praise you because you will continue to provide. We praise you, God, for providing us with strength, for providing us with courage, for providing us with understanding, for providing us with your wisdom. And so we bless you, God. We bless you, Lord, not just for providing material things, but we bless you, God, for providing us with spiritual things. We thank you. Lord, uh, because you made us sufficient uh, in all spiritual things. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, because we have no lack uh, when it comes down to serving you. Uh, we praise you, God, uh, because you made yourself available to us. Uh, we praise you, God, uh, because you've opened up the portals of your spirit. Uh, and you've allowed us to walk in the heavenly places. Uh, you've allowed us to walk in untrodden paths. Uh, you've allowed us to experience things uh, in your presence, God, uh, that's never been experienced before. Uh, we praise you, God. Uh, we praise you for the journey. Uh, we praise you for the journey. Uh, we praise you because we're fortunate. Uh, we're fortunate to taste of your mysteries. Uh, we're fortunate, God. God, uh, that you're revealing yourself to us. Uh, we're fortunate, God, uh, that you're exposing yourself to us. Uh, we're fortunate, God, uh, that you're allowing us, Lord, uh, to take a peek inside of your mind, uh, to understand what is your purpose and your will. Uh, and so, God, uh, we came to praise you today. Uh, our souls does magnify you. Uh, our souls magnify you. Uh, we magnify magnify you because you understand all things we magnify you because you know all things we praise you God because in the midst of this journey that we're taking you already know the way that we take and we thank you for the trials we praise you for the trials because when you finish trying us we're coming out as pure gold 
And so we bless you. We bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless you for being able to lean and depend upon you, Lord. We praise you, God, for being able to lean and depend upon your character, God. We praise you, God, because our righteousness, Lord, it's of you, God. We bless you, God, because you're making us the righteous. We bless you, God, for being Jehovah's sick in you. We praise you, God, because you are our righteousness. We praise you, God, because you're purging us daily. We praise you, Lord, because you're cleansing us daily. We praise you, God, because you're washing us. We thank you for the washing. We thank you for the purifying. We thank you for the cleansing. And we yield ourselves to you today. We yield to the purging. We yield to the cleansing. Lord, you don't want to harshly cleanse us. But we submit ourselves. And we tell you yes, Lord. We tell you yes. We tell you yes. We tell you yes. We tell you yes. We say yes to your will. We say yes to your way. Down in our souls, God. Every area in me, God, that haven't surrendered to you. Break it down, God. Break it in, God. Wash me, God. Purge me, God. I want to be clean before you. I want to be a righteous servant. Somebody praise him. Praise him for his righteousness. Praise him. Praise him for his righteousness. Praise him. Come on, saints, glorify him. We praise you. Because when we've lost everything, we still have you, God. We praise you, God. Because we found out, Lord, just a few days ago that the reality is in our face that all of the grounds is sinking sand, that on you we build our trust. Our trust is in you, God. We worship you today, God. God, take our spirits back. Take us to trust in you, God. Take us back to leaning on you, God. Help us to understand, God, that there is no hope but in you, that there is no peace but in you, that there is no understanding but in you, that our strength is in you, that our purpose is in you. For you said in your word, God, that there are many plans that are in the mind of man, but only your purpose will stand. And so, God, we're asking you today, to dig your purpose up in the midst of what we plan to do. God, dig up your purpose in the midst of everything we strive after. God, dig your purpose up in the midst of everything that we're reaching for. God, dig your purpose up. God, we want to know your will. God, don't let us wander like the children of Israel in the desert. But God, help us to find you. We're in search after you, God. Help us to find your will. Help us to find your way. God, help us, Lord. We're asking for your help, God. We're asking you to help us. Help us to find your perfect will. Not just your permissive will, but we need your perfect will. God, if we don't find your will, the enemy will swallow us up. If we don't find your will, the enemy will overtake us. If we don't find your will, the devil will wash us out if we don't find your will the enemy will overthrow us because it's in your will that we find perfect peace that in the midst of our trouble in the midst of what we're going through we know this thing for assurance that we're in your will God God help us help us to know your will help us to find your will help us to search out your will God give us your strength to travail in the spirit until we find your way. Come on, somebody. Begin to travail in the spirit today. God is calling us to pray today. We're coming after your will, God. We're in search for your will, God. We press in today. We're pressing in. We're pressing in. We're pressing in. 
God, we're tired of ourselves. God, we're tired of religion. God, we're tired of our ways. Because our ways are not your ways. And our thoughts are not your thoughts. And so we ask in your God to overthrow our ways. We ask in your God to put a stumbling block in the presence of our way. Until we know God. Until we know that we're headed in the wrong direction. God, show us. Show us your way. Show us your will. Somebody, come on, cry out to him. We want to know it. We want to know your will. We want to know your way. Yeah. Help us today. Come on, somebody. Cry out to him. Father, we pray. We pray for our nation. We pray for our nation. Because they're trying to forget you. But God, we thank you. We thank you for New Orleans. We thank you, God. We thank you today for Hurricane Katrina. Because God, you let us know that out of everything that you build up, you can't forget God. God, we praise you. And God, we say yes. God, we glorify you. God, we submit to you. God, we recognize you. God, we put you back up on the throne. We break down every idol. Somebody come on. Get on the boat, Hold up our shanda. Come on, saints. We got to break it down. Break down every idol. We break down pride. We break down religion. We break down self-righteousness. We break down stubbornness. We break down hypocrisy. We break down jealousy. We break down envy. God, we break it down. God, we humble ourselves. We humble ourselves before you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God come after us, God come after us, for God we recognize that in Katrina, you're coming after this nation, God we recognize that in Katrina, her name means purified, God you speaking, God you're speaking, God you speaking a national language, you're trying to tell America that I'm going to purify, yeah. Come on, somebody. Cry out to him. Cry out. Hold on, I'm going to Thank you, Jesus. 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 God, we pray. We pray for the nation. We pray, God, because she's trying to forget you. We pray, God, because she's trying to forget you. She's legalizing her homosexual marriages. God, come against it. God, make a stand. God, whatever you got to do. God, show no mercy. Show no mercy to the enemy. He cut it in your in your shamna. God, do what you got to do. But bring this nation to her knees. He come to the Oshanda. Come to the Lord of Creation. Come to the Lord of Osea. Come to the Lord of the Satire. Do it, God. Bring her down, God. Bring her down. America is proud. America is lifted up. But she's forgot her God. But God bring her in. God chastise us. God wash us. God purify this nation. In the name of Jesus. God let your judgment. Let it start in the White House. Let it come all the way down. In every city. In every state. God open up your mouth. God cry out against it. Hold oh, Shanda. Somebody come on. Come on and travel. Hold on another double shaya. Come on another double see ya. Come on another double shata. Hot another double shanda. 
Oh God, you said in your word that righteousness exalts a nation, but sin is a reproach to any people. God, I know, I know you got mercy, but God, this is your hour, and we won't get in your way. God, this is your time, and we won't get in your way, but have your way. Have your way. God, I pray today over every family, wherever there's a stubborn spirit, God, you speak. He come into the ocean. God, you speak. Wherever there's rebellion in every household, if it's in the husband, if it's in the wife, if it's in the children, God, you speak. God, you speak. God, you speak. God, you speak. Because you, you got a way of speaking. And nobody can ignore you. You got a way of speaking up when the world know you're talking up. You got a way of speaking up when the nation know you're talking up. You got a way, God, of doing things up that nobody can explain up. But God, this is your hour. This is your time. And you're going to get the glory out of this. You're going to get the glory out of this. You're going to get the glory out of this. Somebody come on and praise it. Come on and bless him. 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 Oh, Shalabahaya. Oh, Sina that in the Ohio. Under the double Shaya. Oh, my baby, baby, I sigh. Oh, God. This is nothing strange. God, this is nothing new. But you did it in the Bible days. You did it with the children of Israel. When they walked in rebellion, you opened up the ground. You swallowed them up. God, have your way. God, have your way. God, have your way. God, have your way. Purify us, God, until we can't reject you. Purify us, God, until we can't deny you. Purify us. God, everything, God, that's been in your way, that's kept us out of your will, tear it down today, tear it down today, tear it down today, tear it down today, today, put a stumbling block there today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. He come to the double shanda. Yes, God. Oh, mama, mama, mama. Oh, mama, 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 mama. Oh, mama, 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 mama. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Who did I know about Shia? I'm not about that at the Osaya. Who did he have me to ask Shanda? Can I know about that about the Osaya? God, send a ministering angel. Send a ministering angel to every believer that had to perish with the wicked. Send a ministering angel into every shelter and comfort the mind of every believer that had to be swallowed up with the wicked. He Thank you, Jesus, for changing America. Thank you, Jesus, for changing America. I tell you again, God, I thank you for Katrina. I thank you, I thank you, I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. Yes, God. 
Yes, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, ba 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 he can the old Siamaha. Who be a seed of the Mahaya? Who be a seed of the whole of the Mahaya Mahaya? Who the moon and the Masid of the Mahaya? Who the other of the soul? Oh, the better, the Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Because this time, God, nobody can fix it but you. The president can't fix it. The surgeon general can't fix it. The doctor can't fix it. The lawyer can't fix it. The insurance companies can't fix it. God, only you. Only you can fix it. Finally, at last, America has a problem that only God can. If the righteous don't pray it out, it'll get worse. Finally, we got a reason to pray. Finally, if we don't pray, we all going under. The economy is going under. Hallelujah. God, he's about to get the glory. He's about to get it. He's about to get it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the gas, God. Thank you, God. Everything is being inflated because you're bringing us to trust in you. You're bringing the church back to trust in you. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all of our ways, we're going to have to trust him. We're going to have to trust him. Trust him for gas. Trust him for food. Trust him to survive. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Come on, tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Tell him thank you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, tell him thank you. You still patty kicking God. But tell him thank you. Hey. He know what he's doing. We can't question God. But he said in the last days, every knee shall bow. Every tongue shall confess. He knows what he's doing. Come on and bless him. 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 
under the ocean. Help us to catch on fire. Help us to catch on to your God. Help us to catch a hold to this prayer. Help us. Give us a praying spirit. Give us a travailing spirit. Give us a new breakthrough. Give us a new yes, Lord. Give it to us, God. Give us a new seek. Give us, God, to hunger and thirst after you, oh God. Oh, 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 shanana, oh, na 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 Jesus, this is your season for revival. Huh? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Huh? Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Huh? This is your season for revival. Huh? Oh, Jesus. Huh? Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Huh? Somebody call him. Oh, my son. My, 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 my. Revival is in the earth. Huh? Revival is in the earth. Huh? Revival is in the earth. Huh? Somebody pray it down. Huh? Somebody pray it down. Huh? Come on, this is it. This is it. This is it. This is what God's been waiting on. Help! Oh, oh, oh. This is what God's been waiting on. He's waiting. He's been waiting on this. He's been waiting on revival. Come on, pull it down. Pull it down. Pull down revival. Hold on about Shiraba. He come to the Shanda. Come on, pull it down. Come on, pull down revival. Pull it down, saints. Ha sha ta da da do sa. He da da bola da da ansiya. Ham da 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 ansiya. Come on, this is what God's been waiting on. He been waiting. Hell, help. Ham da 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 bola da da di o se ya. He so no 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 ho ya. He so no 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 ho ya. He so no 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 ho ya. He sounded on the Hoya. Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. Hoya, Hoya, Hoya. Hold on, no, 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 Anda na 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 Hold on, 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 Oh, 
Come on here, Saint. I heard the Lord say, I'm going to keep blowing till they hear me. I'm going to keep blowing until the earth hear me. I'm going to keep blowing until the earth hears me. Under the old sire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to keep blowing until the world hears me. I'm going to keep blowing until the world comes to their knees. I'm going to keep blowing. Oh, my gosh. I'm blowing away they trust I'm blowing away what they depend on I'm going to keep blowing until the world hears me I'm going to keep blowing until the earth know I exist I'm going to keep blowing until my people uh, Who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways uh, And then I'll hear from heaven uh, And then I'll heal the land Who uh, the need he done any old seeker that I never hire. How many any old sire? Oh my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, my Shia.
Mazia Mazia Maya. Oh, yeah, Mazia Mazia Maya. Oh, Mazia Mazia Maya. Oh, Mazia. Oh, Mazia. Oh, Mazia. Oh, Mazia. Oh, Mazia, Mazia. Oh, Mazia, Mazia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, 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 Hallelujah. 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 Oh, she alamos. Andoro no boko sandera na marian si andani an shan. Korea Korea si. Korea Korea si. Korea Korea si. Korea si da mado da boko sandera maya. Ora mada na boko sandera da 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 da. Yes, Father. Oh, yes, I must. Oh, yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to his name. Gora Pacasito Mokosanda la Mahanda de Bocosada Mahanda de Osayo. Get your Bibles. I want to read something to you.
Thank you, Jesus. About how long has it been, Catherine, since I left the prayer in Bethel? Bring me your prayer, Shaw. How long has it been? About how many months has it been since I left the prayer in New York? Three, maybe four months. I would have to say four. Jesus. I'm going to put it on me. The last month of that prayer, the Lord took me up in the spirit. And I know Catherine will probably remember this. He took me up in the spirit. And I was slain out on the power and, and I just began to travail for a long time in tongues. When I came out of those tongues, I stood up and I got the microphone and I told the people of God that I saw a great disaster coming to America. And I said, this one will make 911 look like it was nothing. And when I said it, it was like a It was like the presence of the Lord came over the place and I began to wail out in tongues again and I began to rebuke it. And I began to send it back. And I said, I commanded to come back and I began to, I began to pray for mercy. And when I, and, and, and I went up like that for a long time. You remember that? And when I came out of it, the power of God hit me again and I went off in tongues and when I came out of tongues, the Lord said, no, you cannot rebuke this for it shall come. After he prophesied that, he also said that there would be four to five leaders in Christendom that would be brought to open embarrassment and four of them would be African-American preachers. before this year is out. That's what he said. Let me say this to you, people of God. We can try to be passive and we can feel what we feel. But God means what he says. When I got up and I started praying I had not read this scripture. I didn't even know this was, is, it's marked in my Bible. And I got etchings by it. But I became so overwhelmed when that thing happened in New Orleans and it, 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 it affected me in this way. It affected me because the Lord is continuing to validate and to call me to another level of the prophetic that I cannot refuse. And that level of the prophetic means that many times he would give me to prophesy against the flow, against what everybody else may be feeling or seeing. And when I went into this prayer and, and, and the Holy Ghost turned me like that and I began to pray and begin to thank God and, 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 and begin to ask God, you know, to, to let America, I can feel a shift in the prayer. And I can feel some of your spirits feel like, you know, well, we, we ought to really feel sad. When I got through and I just began to stand here for a few minutes and just praise God, the Lord told me to open up the word. And when I opened up my Bible, it fell open to this page. And the first page that it fell open to, and I began to read it. said 
in the 32nd chapter of Job, this is the first thing that fell open. It said, so these three men ceased to answer Job because he was rigid, righteous, upright, and in right standing with God in his own eyes. But there was a fifth man there also. I stopped reading and I just said, okay, you know. And then the Spirit of the Lord just began to speak to me quietly about, about him causing a destruction to all that we have. I turned the page a couple of more spaces and it fell on this and this is my confirmation. Job 37 And it said this. Indeed, as his thunderings, my heart also trembles and leaps out of its place. Listen to this, people of God. Hear, oh, hear the roar of his voice and the sound of rumbling that goes out of his mouth. Under the whole heaven, he lets it loose and his lightning to the ends of the earth. After it, his voice roars. He thunders with the voice of his majesty, and he restrains not his lightnings against his adversaries when his voice is heard. God thunders marvelously with his voice. He does great things which we cannot comprehend. For he says to the snow, fall on the earth. Likewise, he speaks to the showers and to the downpour of his mighty rains. And this is the part that's marked in my Bible. God seals up stops, brings to a standstill by severe weather the hand of every man and now under his seal their hands are forced to inactivity that all men whom he has made may know his doings, his sovereign power and their subjection to it. That's for anybody who says the enemy has done this. That's for anybody who said this was the work of the devil. No, it was not. It was the work of God. And he brings their hands to inactivity. That all may know the sovereign voice of God and submit to it. And submit to it. And through when the tsunami came, when the tsunami hit, when 911 hit, 911 was poor them. The tsunami was owed those people. This time with one act, it's all of us. Every city, every state will feel the effects of when his wind blows, when his voice speaks we are one storm away from homeless song said on Christ the solid rock I stand all of the grounds is sinking sand all of the grounds is sinking sand. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ, the solid rock I stand. All of the grounds is sinking sand. All of the grounds is sinking sand.
God is moving by his spirit in such an awesome way and he speaks and we don't hear him. He talk and we don't listen. He calls and we don't answer. He draws and we draw back. The story about Job, this is the end line of the story. Those that submit to God shall recover double what they have lost. Ain't no sense that's looking like this. Ain't the first time. Go back to the Old Testament. Remember Noah? God doesn't do anything without a warning. He don't blow and give, not give people a chance. That's not the God we serve. He speaks and he keeps speaking. In February, I was on the music tour and I've been to New Orleans several times to preach. And every time I've gone there, I've said, God, help. And the last, this past February, I went through that on a tour. I rode in the city. The people that were on my bus, when we pulled into the city and was on our way to the, to the auditorium, I told everybody on my bus, I said, I don't want to stay in the hotel in this city. I want to sleep on my bus. I had my niece with me. I said, you stay close to me. And I looked outside and I told the people on my bus, I said, because God is not in this city anymore. I said, I see Ichabod written all up. I have witnesses. Catherine, you were on the bus. I said, I see Ichabod written all over this city. I said, and y'all be careful. I said, because the spirit of the enemy is loosed in this city. God don't have a rain in here. He's loosed. And he speaks. And we hurt. And we feel bad for people. But those that belong to God shall be comforted. Those that belong to God shall be comforted. Those that belong to God, he shall take care of them. Those that rejected him will get to know him. Yeah. Come on, somebody. This is a testimony. This isn't just a tragedy. Let me read this to you. Let me read this to you. Then he said, then he said, he said in the eighth verse, then the beasts go into dens and remain in their lairs. Out of its chambers comes the whirlwind and cold from the scattering winds. By the breath of God, ice is given and the breath of the waters is frozen over. He loads the thick cloud with moisture. He scatters the cloud of his lightning and it is turned around about by his guidance that they may do whatever he commands them upon the face of the habitable earth, whether it be for correction or for earth generally, or for his mercy and loving kindness, he causes it to come. Don't tell me God ain't talking. He causes it to come. Whether it's for correction, whether it's for loving kindness, whether it's for his mercy, which means in the midst of this thing, different people are being judged different ways. Come on, somebody. For some people, it is his judgment. For others, it is his mercy. Where others is concerned, it is his loving kindness. You got people of God that's been stuck in New Orleans, that's been wanting to move, wanting to leave their churches and couldn't. It's God's loving kindness. You got women that were stuck in abusive situations and couldn't get out. It was his mercy. You got children that were destined for prostitution. It was his grace. You got those that rebelled against God. It was his correction. God doesn't do things for one reason. It's a multiple thing. 
Oh, come on, somebody. You ought to bless him. You ought to part of the most shamda. You ought to bless him. You ought to bless him. He knows the way that we take. He knows what he's doing. When he speaks, he doesn't speak in one direction. He speaks to solve the problem. Some people needed to get out. Some people needed to come in. Some people needed a relationship. Some people needed to turn to God. Some people needed to be corrected. One whirlwind did the job. And I was praying. I don't even think some of you all heard what I said, but the name Katrina means purify. The name Katrina means purify. God knows what he's doing. And that's why I was thanking him. That's why I was blessing him. But when you're the righteous and you have a prayer life and you have a life of consecration, you're not shaken. He reveals the mystery to you. He helps you to understand his wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. God is an awesome God. I said God is an awesome God. Well, you can go out and tell people. Because people on your job going to want to know, what, what's the, this is a terrible shame. Yes, it is, but read Job 37. It's a shame for who it is a shame for. My God. My God. I said it's a shame for who it is a shame for. He shows himself to be merciful. Shows himself to be a God of a second chance. Thank you, Jesus. He looks at us as believers and he watches our actions and he judges our ways. And that's why we got to get up in God because God, he doesn't want the saints to be blindsided by stuff. You know, you driving along in the car and all of a sudden you come over in the left lane and the car blow the horn at you and you go, I didn't see you. It was in my blind side. He don't want us blindsided by stuff, mother. And he don't want us to respond the way the world is responding. Somebody asked me last night, well, you know, when are you going to, to down there to see? I said, because God's giving me a word, and when I go, I'm going to preach. I said, I believe that God is putting something in my spirit. I'm going to seek after the believers. I'm going to the shelters, but I'm going to find out. As soon as one person recognizes me, I'm going to say, go find all the saved people. How many people you know saved in here? Go get, tell them I said, meet me on this side of the building. Because I got a word for you. He shall restore that which the canker worm and the palmer worm has eaten. And your faith ain't in stuff. And the very fact that you survived says you got faith in God. So you better pick your spirit up and come on through this thing. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. Because I believe if you charge the believers, they'll help everybody else. We got to know, we got to understand this. Can't be just looking at the whole thing, time when it's just a pitiful shame. No, Job 37 says, it's for correction. It's for mercy. It's for loving kindness. <laughs> but it is his voice. And when we hear him, the Bible said we can either fall on the rock and be broken or the rock will fall on us and we'll be crushed. The will of God is your choice. And that's what I seek him for, his will. God, don't, you don't have to crash my car for me to hear you. You ain't got to kill half of my family for me to tell you yes. You ain't got to cause me to lose my job and be set outside for me to yield to you. God, put a yes, Lord, in me so I can come when you call me. I don't want to have to be whipped to your will. I want to be able to come when I hear you call me. I want you to put that in my spirit so I will yield to you. You ain't got to cause my kids to be hurt and sick because I won't give up to you. You ain't got to cause stuff to happen in my family because I won't yield to you. Help me to tell you yes because I love you. Help me to surrender to you because I love you. Help me to understand that you called me by my name and you got a job for me to do. Help me to understand that yes is the way. The Bible said there was a way that seemeth right to man, but the end of that way is destruction. 
the beginning of that first verse said, and Job considered himself to be a righteous man in his own eyes. But after all of his friends denied to him, the Bible said that God sent a young man to speak to him, to tell him, Job, you've done all of these things, and they've been counted unto you by your friends as righteousness. But the Lord has found iniquity in you. Okay, y'all better read why he snatches. You better read why he takes. He said, the Lord has found iniquity in you because you have cushioned your character by what you have. And God wanted to remove everything you got to show you who you really are. Job said, Lord, you found iniquity in me. And when he told the Lord, God, you found iniquity in me. And my iniquity was my self-righteousness. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't go on further for you to pursue and purify me to your level of righteousness. I stopped at my own. And now that I found this thing, God, and I repent for it, then the Lord brought him back double. Then it says his daughters was more fairer than anybody's in the land. Then the Lord brought him double. We all seeking for a blessing from God. But sometimes losing is the blessing. We cry about stuff all the time. Well, they're going to take my house. Sometimes losing is the blessing. Well, they're going to repossess my car. Sometimes losing is the blessing. Because that's the way the Lord shows you what you are on the inside. But our answer should be, God, find it in me. And if you find anything in me that should not be, take it out. Because I know when you purify me, double is coming. Double can't come until you purify me. Devil can't come until you clean me out. And whatever I got to lose for you to bring me double, you crying about what you're losing right now. I'm, I'm preaching to somebody right now. You crying about what you're giving up. Oh, I lost. I lost. No, 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 because double coming. Double can't come till you lose it all. Double can't come till you empty out. You want a double portion of the spirit? Lose what you got. Just say, God, this ain't enough. I, I surrender my life. I surrender everything to you. Because I need you. I need a double portion. And the Lord showed me that scripture in Job. And my Bible is all marked up. I start seeking him. And saying, God, I don't care how people see me. I don't care how righteous they think I am. Purify me to your level of righteousness. Don't let me be deceived in my own eyes. Don't let me rejoice in my own accomplishments. God, purify me to you satisfied. God, go and dig and get the hidden stuff that I don't even know is there. The stuff that the enemy is waiting to surface. Abort that stuff in my womb, God, in its incubated state. Kill it. Every desire you know trying to come that will come. You know the future. You know what's coming up out of me next year. Kill it in its incubation state. Destroy that thing at the root. Thank you, Jesus. Keep cleaning me out, God. Keep purging me. Keep purifying me, God. Keep bringing it up in my spirit. Keep letting it surface. I don't care how much you have to embarrass me. Let it come out. Keep putting me in positions where the devil can't hide in me no more. God, I want to be clean. I want to be righteous. I want to be purified. Because the Bible said the effective fervent prayers of a righteous man avail as much. I don't want to be righteous in my own eyes. I want your righteousness. I want your purification. God, deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from myself. Deliver me from my own ways. Deliver me from what I think I am. Deliver me from who I think I am. Deliver me from what I think I've accomplished. Deliver me, God. Deliver me. Hallelujah. Deliver me, God. Deliver me from my standard. Deliver me, God. Deliver me from my own righteousness, God. Break me all over again. Purify me all over again. Cleanse me all over again. Wash my belly out again, God. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, we are seeing. 
I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because Katrina done put another seek in us. Whew. She judged the sinner, but she woke up the prayer warrior. Because the Bible said in the end, men's hearts will fail them. This is only, this is only a, this is only a, a, a breath of what we're about to see, people of God. And that's why we got to get built up in the Holy Ghost. Because we ain't seen nothing yet. When I was walking back and forth praying, I heard the Lord say again, and I'm not through. And I'm getting ready to blow again. I heard him say that. And if you ain't up in God, your heart will fail you. Because of fear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. But I want to be in the realm where I know what God is doing. Where you look at something and say, mm-hmm. God, have your way. Have thy own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am the clay. Mold me. And shake me after thy will. While I'm, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna be yielded and I'm gonna be still. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, and I am the clay. Hallelujah. Mold me and shape me. Hallelujah. After thine will. While I'm, while I'm right here waiting. And I'm going to be still, have thine own way, Lord. Oh, somebody ought to say that with me. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter. I am. The clay, yes, God, yes, God, mold me and shape me. After thy will, while I'm, while I'm right here, while I'm right here, where. Somebody, while I'm, 
and I'm going to be still. Hallelujah. I'm going to be yielded. I'm going to be still. I'm going to be yielded. And I'm going to be still. Hallelujah. Have your way in me, Lord. 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 Yes to your will. 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 Have your way. No, 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 Have your way. No, 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 have your way in my soul. 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 In my head. Shut up. In my soul. In my soul. Yes. Come on. Tell him yes. Yes. Oh, no, 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 Come on, saints, I feel something. Yes. Yes. We're down in my soul. Yes. 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 Yes, oh my Santa. Yes, Hallelujah. Tell him yes. Tell him yes. Come on out of your spirit. Tell him yes. Yes. 
I feel a yes, Lord, in the building. I feel a yes, Lord, in the building. I feel a yes, Lord, in the building. Say yes. Come on, give him a yes. Out of your spirit, I feel a breakthrough in the building. Give God a yes. Give it to him. For us on the inside. Do it for us on the inside. Oh, yes. So say yes. 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 Glory to your high name, God. 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 Jesus. He has never left me alone. He has never left me alone. Through the storm and the rain, through sickness and through pain, he has 
has never left me alone. He has never left me alone. Oh, he has never left me alone. Thank you, Jesus. And through sickness and pain, through sunshine and the rain, he has never, hallelujah, left me alone. He has never, he's never left me alone. He has never, never left me alone. Through the storm and the rain, through every sickness, and through the pain, he has never, never left me, never left me alone. He has never, never left me alone. God, I feel the Holy Ghost in this place. Oh, he's never, never left me alone. Hallelujah! Through the sunshine and the rain, through all my sickness and my pain, He has never, never left me, never left me alone. He has never, oh God, I feel like singing that one more time, never left me alone I don't know about y'all but he has never hallelujah never left me alone sometimes I got sunshine sometimes it's rain sometimes I'm sick and sometimes I feel pain but he has He has never, never left me alone. Oh, he has never, never left me alone. Hallelujah. Through the sunshine and the rain, through sickness and through pain, he has He has never, never left me alone. Been through some hard times, but he has never, never left us under the alone. alone. <laughs> through the sunshine and the rain. Through sickness and through pain, my God is 
has never, never left me, never left me alone. Oh, I'm gonna sing this one more time and I'm going home. He has never, never left me. Never left me alone. I don't care who walked away. He's never. He never left me. Never left me alone. When everybody walked out, I seen sunshine. And I seen rain. I've had some sickness. God knows I had some pain, <laughs> but he has never, he has never, he has never, 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 never left me. He's never left me alone. Sunshine. I've had some rain. I've had sickness. And in my heart, sometimes I felt pain. But I'm so glad he's now. I'm so glad he's now. I'm so glad he's now. Never left me. He's never left me alone. My God, through the sunshine. And the rain through my sickness, through my pain, the Lord has never, never left me. He never left me alone. How many had some pain, but it wasn't sickness? How many of them been through some pain and it wasn't sickness? Then this time is for you. Through sunshine and through rain, through my sickness, <laughs> and even through my pain, the Lord has never He never left me alone. He has never, never left me alone. He has never, never left me alone through sunshine and the rain through my sickness and all through my pain my God has never My God has never, never left me. My God has never, never left me. 
He's never left me alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Never Never left me Never left me alone Through sunshine And through the rain I'm the da 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 through sickness and through all of my pain, my God has never, never left me, never left me alone. Through sunshine. And through rain, through sickness, out of the ocean, through all of my pain, my God has never, never left me. He's never left me alone. Hallelujah. Glory to your high name, God. Give your name the praise for Jesus. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Want to say something? <sighs> the next couple of weeks are going to be weeks of great impartations. I know that school has started in. People are adjusting their schedules. But God is pressing us to a place 
He's pressing us to a place of no return. And those that will make the sacrifice will see the hand of God. I want to bless God for those parents that I see that have their children in this prayer. Because for the rest of the year, the prayer is going to be gone. I want to appreciate you for being sensitive enough to say I'd rather have God covering the life of my child. They may be sleepy in school for the next two Tuesdays, but they're being covered for a lifetime. And it ain't gonna kill them. We was raised up in the church, and during the time that we were raised up in the church, it ain't like it is today. We had church every night. Monday night prayer service. Tuesday night Bible study. Wednesday night is midweek service night. Thursday night was service night. Friday night was delivering service. Saturday was choir rehearsal. Sunshine band and purity class. Sunday morning and Sunday night. And we went to church every night and we had homework and my mother would bring us to church and if we would come home from school and she would fix us something to eat and my mother and them wanted to be in prayer service that started six o'clock and we would come to church with our book bags and my mother and them would tell us you got into prayer services over to be finished with that homework. And my mother would be praying and calling on God and we'd be kneeling right there in the pew between her doing homework. I can't tell you how we concentrated and became straight A students. We were in church half the night. We didn't leave church till one o'clock in the morning. Cause after the pastor got through preaching they had tarrying service for people that wanted the Holy Ghost. And my daddy was an evangelist and my mother was an evangelist, so they tear it with people on the altar. And by the time they got through tearing, we'd be knocked out sleep on the back of the pew and they would drag us home, put us in the bed. Half the time we fell asleep with our clothes on. They just covered us up. Got up the next morning and went to school. And we were straight A students going to church every night. Oh, come on somebody. The going thing in our church, we, we shouted more than anybody else. And then the nights that my mother didn't feel like driving all the way to the north side because we live on the south side of town. And the days that we had to go to my uncle's church, he had about 30 members, a guitar, a drum, and that was about it. And when we would go to Uncle Bo's church, that was clearly two and three o'clock in the morning. Don't you know when you're in the storefront church, ain't no rules. They just shout all night long. And they have what they call overflow services where the service in and the saints be greeting each other going home and then somebody break out and start speaking in tongues and church start all over again. And don't let a drunk wander in the church when service is out. That's tarrying service for the drunk man. And they would work with the drunk lady until she got sober. But we made A's. And we were in all the school plays. And I had all the leading roles and remembered all of my lines and all of my Easter speeches and all of my Christmas speeches. It didn't kill me being in church. But today I'm a woman of God across this country because somebody put a foundation in me. Today I'm able to be able to determine and discern the fake from the real. Come on somebody, I'm talking to somebody right now. 
That's why it's very important that you find an opportunity to put your children in the presence of the real. Because when they grow up, I'm going to tell you, when these little babies right here grow up and years gone, I'd probably be dead and gone when they get to be 18, 19, 20 years old and all the stuff that's happening now in the world, they're going to be able to look back. When people come up and doing stuff in the church, they're going to say, that ain't God, because I remember. I remember when I was a little girl going to 5 o'clock in the morning prayer. I remember that lady in that white outfit, and I remember feeling God, and this ain't God. This right here is deception. This right here is some subliminal spirit that's trying to take over the church. Are you understand? This is why we're here. We're not just here for ourselves. We're here so that God can increase our discernment. You see people now in ministry, and you see people preaching, and you just don't, can't put your finger on it. I don't know about y'all, but some people I look at and go, I don't know what it is. But something down in here just ain't giving me no witness. They saying all the right stuff. They quoting the scriptures and everything. But your spirit began to mature to be able to discern what is the real anointing. What is the real anointing that comes through purification and not talent? And that's what God's trying to do. He's trying to raise. What God is going to use many of you to do in this last hour, long after I'm gone, in your families, in your neighborhood, in your ministries, he's given you the power to discern the atmosphere and know when the real power of God shows up. You're not just knowing when it shows up, but being able to discern what degree it is in the building, to know what levels it is. Come in and know when you're in one level and know when the thing shifts and know when God has shifted the spirit to another level. Know when to wait on God. Know how to wait on God. Knowing that if I do wait on the Lord, even though we may be finished praying, there's another wave that can come through. So sometimes you got to be careful and sensitive in the spirit. He's trying to teach you his presence. God's using us together. Going to be here a couple of more weeks. I was sharing with Pastor. I wanted to make this correction. I was looking at the calendar wrong. and I was looking at August and I said the 30th. But it's really the 20th of this month. So we have two more Tuesdays. We have two more Tuesdays. Two more Tuesdays. And I'm going to be doing something I have made available. The Lord is leading me to do this. There are some people in this building I know that God is um, allowing us to do some things in the spirit. And he's moving by his spirit. We're getting ready for the threshing floor conference that's coming up in April. I don't want you to forget that. And today is a day of celebration for me. The threshing floor book drops today in all Christian bookstores across this country. Amen. It's a day of celebration for me. It was a great birthing out to write this book on how to understand if you're hearing from God and if God hears your prayers. And all of you that um, would support it, I would appreciate it if you would go to your bookstores. And um, I know it's going to bless you. It, 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 I reread it. It, it, it blessed me. I asked the Lord to just give me how to write it so that people would really understand the levels of prayer and understand where God wants to take them, understand if they're praying the right way. We covered what I believe the Lord wanted me to cover during the time that I've been here, but you're going to find some very, very, very powerful things that's going to be spiritually liberating in the threshing floor book. And uh, don't forget to uh, remind you to register for the conference and we, 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 we're getting ready for it. You're getting ready to see a lot of the marketing for it on television. Let's not continue to pray and praying based upon what the Lord has given me today in Job 37. You pray all of that. You pray that the people that God is judging that they would hear his judgment you pray that the people that God is showing mercy on, that he would allow them to receive his mercy. You show God the people that God is extending his loving kindness. You pray that God would open up doors, that God would send miracle people in their direction.
that will pick them up and help them get back on their feet and restore back to them double. And amen, somebody, we have to know how to pray. We got to know that God is always dissecting things so that we can understand what he's doing. Amen. God speaks a word even in the prayer. You know, you got people that are sitting in here and some people come to the prayer and they're convicted in prayer. Some people come to the prayer, they're strengthened by prayer. Some people come to, to the prayer, the Lord has shown them mercy. Some people come to the, to the prayer and the Lord charges their prayer anointing. Nobody's in the presence of the Lord for the same thing. And that's why in these next couple of weeks, when you come, you don't let nobody hinder your praise because the person you sit next to, you know what I'm saying? They may be going through conviction, so they sitting there looking all dried up because that power is convicting them. But that day may be your victory day, so you can't determine how you praise God and how you respond by your neighbor. <laughs> Come on, somebody. I've been waiting on this all week long, waiting in the presence of the Lord. And I want you all not to forget to, to, to get your T-shirts. That last Tuesday, if you know anybody that's been coming to the prayer, I want us to end strong. Amen, somebody? So I need you to call a neighbor. Call somebody that you know that's been missing and tell them on the 20th, I want to, to, to properly um, uh, end strong because we know how to start stuff strong. And that's a, that's a, that, that's a thing that I, one of my pet peeves, I don't, you know, I, I don't get real excited about how people start. But my whole thing of it is, is we, we got to learn how to end strong. You got a lot of people say, God told me to do it, and I know he told me to do it. And then six months later, the whole thing falling apart. You know, you got to learn how to finish. We have to, we have to pray and ask God to give us the spirit to finish. And God gives us to do stuff. Ask God to give you the spirit to finish it. Amen, because the devil don't mind you start. <laughs> He'll let y'all start a whole lot of stuff. Start prayer meetings, start ministry, start everything. His job is to make sure that you don't finish. Amen, somebody. So I want to end strong. I want everybody to be reminded to, to, to get your T-shirt and wear your T-shirt on that day. If you don't wear it no other day, wear it on that particular day. I'm asking also that every person in this building would consider becoming a covenant partner with Juanita Bynum Ministries. We're getting ready to do just some awesome things. I, I, I can't even begin to tell you all the doors that the Lord has opened up. The Lord has never really led me to pursue that until he's given me an assignment and the Lord has given me an assignment. I'm not one to just ask people to sow into my ministry just for nothing. People have asked me for years, well, when are you gonna have this? And when are you gonna have a covenant partner? And when are you gonna do this? And when are you gonna say, God ain't told me to do that. I don't, I don't have a reason to ask the saints of God to, to, to support me on a monthly basement. I'm not doing anything that requires that. When the Lord gives me something, then, you know, I will, I will make that petition toward the people. So even after we leave, we ask him that many of you would consider becoming a covenant partner with $20 a month, just $20 a month, um, that you would make a sacrifice and sow it so that we can do some things. I believe that this is my season for God to, to, to bring me back to television. We are now on, on the Word Network at uh, 7 o'clock in the mornings on, I think it's Tuesdays, Mondays, Mondays, Tuesdays. It's one of them days. <laughs> it's one of them days. I just know we started two weeks ago being on the Word Network, and we're asking... Um, they've made available to us another day that have come up. And so we're, we're, we're starting out and um, we're starting out fresh and God is doing some stuff. And I just need some partners to stand with me because I believe it is my turn to do what God has called me to do. I'm asking, amen. Amen. I waited on God for my season and my time and I believe now is the appointed time. Um, we're going to be uh, calling forth for um, many of you uh, to become volunteers in the Threshing Floor Conference. So um, as you become a covenant partner, um, probably when we come back on the last day, we'll bring um, some volunteer forms. And if you'd like to be a volunteer at the Threshing Floor Conference, I would 
so appreciated because the more people we get to help us, the more um, easier it would be to run a conference of that size. And I'm desiring that you as believers, that you write my name in the back of your Bible, write it on a piece of paper somewhere, put it in a place where you would be reminded to keep me in prayer, to keep praying for me, because I'm not trying to do a conference just so people can just come together and some music and some dancing and some shouting. I'm trying to do a conference so that people can understand the mind of God, so people can understand the will of God, so people can know how to talk to God, how to know when God is talking back to you, understanding how to pray, because we are in a place now where the nation, as you see, is in trouble. And the only thing that's going to bring us out is prayer. Prayer doesn't change things, it changes everything. We have put prayer on the back burner and we've made prayer something that we do in our past time. But it is time for us to put prayer on the front burner and make prayer the first thing we do when we wake up in the morning, the last thing we do when we go to bed at night and pray without ceasing. Pray all during the day. Be reminded of prayer. Put stickers on your desk to remind you to pray. Whatever you got to do to keep you in remembrance of prayer. I was in Africa going down the street in one of the cars in, in Africa on the back of the car had a bumper sticker that says my car is my prayer closet and I thought that was the cutest thing I said now that's all right so I'm gonna have to get that little sticker and bring that to America brother said my car is my prayer closet you got to find a way to keep in contact with God amen 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 all over the room if you would just all of the faith walkers I'm not even pushing today if you desire to be a faith walker today, the spirit of the Lord is so high in this place. It's just, I still feel his presence. I still feel his presence so strong. Every faith walker that have made that decision to sow that $100 seed every Tuesday, just step in the center aisle so that we can, we can dismiss. I'm not even, today I just, Lord, have mercy. God is so good. He answered. He spoke. Thank you, Jesus. You said, I'm being a faith walk. I'm going to sow that $50. You get in the far aisles. Get in the far aisles. And many have been asking. It is a, it is a Gideonite seed that the Lord has given me to have people to sow a seed of $300 to the ministry and it's a sacrificial seed not in exchange for but that is a seed that the Lord has called me to ask for because it helps me to further my Talit ministry and it is a new ministry that God has given me called the Talit ministry which is the ministry of the prayer shawl and if you're in this place um, the last Tuesday I'm going to be bringing some and these are people that are entering into special covenant prayer. The people that are all over the country that have sown for the prayer shawls. We have a covenant bond together that they're praying for my assignment. And if you're one of those people that are that are interested, as a matter of fact, um, can I get some envelopes right quick? If you're interested in, and you feel that of the Lord, that on that last Tuesday on the 20th, that you like to sow a $300 seed, and I'd like to give you your prayer shawl package, then you can come and get an envelope out of my hand, and you can bring that $300 seed on the 20th, and I will in turn anoint you and give you the prayer shawl. God is doing some awesome things with the prayer shawl, with the power of the prayer shawl, it is, it is something that I really not, have not had time to really birth out and really preach it the way that I want to preach it and explain it the way I want to explain it. But I'm telling you, the power of God is something in it. And if you're in this building and you said, I'd like to, to, to sow into the ministry because I would like to have a prayer shawl, you can come and get an envelope out of my hand. You can step from wherever you are you can come and get an envelope. And you can bring it back on the 20th. And I'll 
call for it on the 20th. And in case you want to know what do we do, we, we in turn bless you with one, and we take your seed. And there, when I went to Africa, I think the Lord led us to, to sow about 160-something prayer shawls. So what we do with your seed is we use that seed to, 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 to restore the, the, the blessed oil. We use the remainder of that seed to purchase other prayer shawls because the Lord has mandated me to keep prayer shawls on my threshing floor. And I lay on the threshing floor and I lay on the prayer shawls and I pray on the prayer shawls. And when I go to Waycross on a weekly basis, when I'm not preaching, the only weeks that I don't go to Waycross, Georgia, is the weeks that I have to travel and preach. When I do go to Waycross, they will tell you I spend my nights on the threshing floor. You know, that they, they go home and rarely the Lord allows me to go to my sister's house and, and sleep on the couch. But... The majority of the time that I'm there, I don't leave the office. I go to Waycross and I go to the gym in the mornings and I get up and I work all day. And when nightfall come, I go and, 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 and get cleaned up and I put on just what I got on right now and tie my head up and I go and I sleep on that floor all night. I pray until I get a breakthrough and I sleep on the floor and I get up about 8 or 9 o'clock that morning and I clean up go to the gym, go to work, and the next night, the same thing, because he is commanded me to keep prayer shawls on the floor. And how I'm able to do that with the budget that we run is that we have people to sow into the prayer shawl ministry. And in turn, I release a prayer shawl to you, but you become instrumental in keeping the, fresh, the, the, the threshing floor with a prayer shawl on it because there are many times that the Lord has led me to give hundreds of people prayer shawls. And I would just, when I got to Africa and people on the platform, the Lord just had me to mantle them. Sometimes I go to places and I'll tell them, bring some prayer shawls and the power of God will follow me. He would point people out and say, call that lady up, call that man up and give them the prayer shawls. When I got to London, the same thing. He wanted me to release prayer shawls because he causing other people to sow and give so that I can release it. You understand what I'm saying? Without charge. So you're not, you're not buying an anointing. You're helping me to keep prayer shawls on the, 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 the prayer floor so that I'm able to release a mantle of prayer and release a mantle of covering to 